Well, you've likely seen some DPW crews filling potholes, and you'll see even more in the coming weeks. Now a new report is helping city leaders develop a plan for some long-term fixes. Gina Gleros has more on what they're doing and how much it could cost. This says it all. We found a hubcap right on Meridian and 11th Street. The culprit? Rows and rows, one after another, of these deep potholes. A new report finds most city roads are not considered in good shape, and the city needs a lot more money just to keep our roads from getting worse, let alone improving them. According to that report, Indianapolis would need an additional $235 million to improve major streets. If we want to repair our residential streets, that number jumps to $622 million. To add sidewalks to the streets, more than a billion dollars. Right now, the budget for the entire city this year is about $1.3 billion. DPW Director Dan Parker knows that if Indy is going to tackle this problem, it's going to need some help. What we would uh, like to do is engage our partners at the state, at the regional level, um, at the federal level on ways in which we can get reliable funding into the, the Indianapolis transportation budget. Make sure that whatever, whatever solution comes forward is one that's reliable and sustaining and not necessarily one that is you know, four or five years and then it goes away. The rain not helping drivers be able to see these potholes. Parker says around 166 thousand vehicles from surrounding counties come into Indianapolis every single day. He says our current funding is not helping with the wear and tear on our roads.